Hello you guys, welcome to Beauty in the Garden. I'm T. Today in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys my new herb area. So, if you guys remember, I had gotten my husband to repair our gazebo because it got damaged in the storm last year. So what I did was I kept the frame off the top of the gazebo. So this part of this frame is where the fan was. And I kept it and I was like, it's square. What can I do with something that is square? So I kept it, you guys, and I went ahead and hung it onto my fence. Now what is holding this up is two planter hooks. So I put a planter hook here and I put a planter hook there. And I just hung it up, you guys. So I made myself a nice little shelf um, right here on the fence. Now in these pots, you guys, is, let's start on this side. So I really, really wanted to um, get a couple of more different uh, varieties of herbs. But let's go ahead and start with this first pot. So this first pot is spearmint. Um, I love spearmint. I like to use it fresh and I like to dry it as well. And um, so basically you just pinch off and if you want to start a new one, believe it or not, uh, it is so easy to, to start new mint plants, okay? If you guys want me to do a video on that, you guys let me know too in the comments below and I'll show you guys how I go about getting more mint plants. Right next to this one is my curly leaf parsley. Now I do have the flat Italian parsley, but the curly leaf parsley holds up very well. It's a little bit more thicker. Um, and I like to put this in my omelets more so than uh, the flat leaf. The flat leaf goes good and like, to me like pita bread or something like that but I really like the, the thick texture of the double curly leaf parsley in my omelets. So this is the pretty thick curly leaf parsley. Right here is lemon thyme, y'all. If you do not have lemon thyme, it smells so nice. It has these beautiful variegated leaves. It is a very, very pretty. It has just these little slight tinges, you guys, of yellow right there. And as well, it is easy to go ahead and get more plants. So let me show you guys real fast. Uh, right here, you see it touched the ground. And you guys see that? That right there? That's roots. So one thing you gotta do is clip this piece off and pop it into the soil. And you guys, you got another plant. So thyme is very good for that as well, okay? I did start some new thyme, um, and I'm hoping that I do get this one up and going. It has not happened yet, so that pot is still empty. Right here is my oregano. Now I do like oregano in my burritos if you like to make egg burritos this is amazing putting oregano chopping it up really really fine and putting this in your burritos it is so good so my oregano and as well it will do the same thing as the thyme it will catch a root and you can go ahead and cut it and put it in another pot right here is my sage right here now, I do not use too much sage, but it smells amazing. I will be having to up pot these, um, but I'm trying to find how I will want to up pot them and just keep it the way I have it. So I will be looking into that as well. Right here is some more up here, some more sage. Right here. And then right here, you guys, is some basil. I did have purple basil during the winter up on the front porch but i'm gonna go ahead and grow some more um this right here is the green basil and you know it just smells amazing okay so here goes a piece you guys that i went ahead and popped in 
that rooted and I just went ahead and popped it in right here and that is the lemon thyme and then on here over here is my cilantro I planted this about four days now um, and hopefully that will come up soon so we have over here is cilantro thyme basil mint and parsley and oregano and over here in the sand pit I showed you guys in the previous video that I potted up some flat leaf Italian parsley and uh, you guys it looks it's small but it's there right here it's right here in this pot um, it's coming up nicely so let me show you guys what it looks like see this leaf on here is very flat and this is the uh, flat leaf parsley now over in the main garden you guys I planted up some more uh, herbs and uh, they're doing really good now you guys already know that I have rosemary and the rosemary is doing good let me show you here so right here in this pot is my rosemary okay I did some cuttings on that and I'll show you guys and right here is my chives right in this pot and then I planted up you guys let me show you here it goes the cuttings right here you guys look like they caught they standing straight up they're strong look at that so I'm thinking that rosemary you guys caught and in this pot right here I have some parsley and on the other end I have some more parsley so this is my prep table looking like okay <laughs> I have a lot going on um, down here is some more parsley look at that baby yeah look how that double leaf curly leaf parsley isn't it beautiful and it's, it's just nice and full so that's that I'm excited about my lavender you guys so I have planted up on each end is eight pots of lavender so if you guys want lavender you have to put them in the fridge for about two weeks and then pot them up into a starter uh, pot and then transfer them once they get a pretty decent size to transplant so I ended up with eight lavender <laughs> eight lavender um, and then I did want to show you guys this too so I was telling you guys in the last video that I have found the most prettiest petunias I've ever seen and this is the double flowered petunias look at that isn't that pretty that's really pretty I bought two packs of them look at that yes and so and you guys I planted some more mint so there's some more mint right here uh, down there I have two more parsley there and over here is some more spearmint now I do want to try the chocolate mint I think my mom's has chocolate mint so I do want to try the chocolate mint so um, yeah I think I'm gonna try the chocolate mint but you guys I'm not gonna keep you guys this is the end of the video I hope you guys enjoyed please don't forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up and subscribe to the channel hit that notification so you guys will be notified when I do upload a video and remember there's beauty in everyone's garden and bye bye for now Thank you.